sí, por mi parte. Parece como avión, avión. para mí. Since May, Bolivians have gotten a new perspective on their capital city. Y siempre subimos charlando. Bonito. Algunos preguntan, muy bonito. ¿Tienes miedo? Algunos dicen, tengo miedo. Yo nos agarramos así. <laughs> the teleférico looks like a ski lift, but is a subway in the sky. In its first eight weeks, more than two million have ridden the one and a half mile line. Connecting La Paz, the center of government, with its rich elite, and El Alto, its poorer twin city above. Gertrudis Condori de Paco makes indigenous skirts for a living and commutes from La Paz to El Alto twice a week to buy supplies. Before the teleférico, commuting meant a packed minibus on clogged narrow streets. The new ride costs less than 50 cents, but that still doubled the bus fare. The administration of President Evo Morales funded the $234 million project with government reserves boosted by a strong economy and natural gas sales to neighboring Brazil and Argentina. And the next two sections conveniently open as Morales seeks his third term. To many Bolivians, it is a symbol that they have arrived. La gente cuando sale al exterior dice, ¿cómo eh, en otros países tienen metro o tienen estos sistemas de transporte? ¿Y por qué en mi país no? Y cuando hemos inaugurado la línea roja, resulta que la gente se siente ahora orgullosa. <laughs> La paz tan pobre, decían, ¿no ven? Ahora ya no es un poco levantado. 